Okay, so I was literally about to just uh, make um, an update guide for 1.35, but yesterday um, everything updated to 1.36. So we can see here, Beat Saber 1.36 has released. I'm not going to read through all this, uh, but PC modding, uh, not available. Quest modding, not available. But if we come right to the bottom here, uh, we can see want to downgrade. At this time, we recommend using MBF instead of BMBF for both downgrade and modding help. You can get started following this link and instructions found here. This is the first time I'm hearing about this. I was all ready to start using Quest Patcher to record my video and stuff like that. So this is brand new. Um, I'm going to go through it. Uh, you're literally seeing it as I'm seeing it, so I'm going to go through the process. Hopefully it's easy. Um, one thing to know, if you click this here link, like I use Firefox and it it doesn't um, work. If I click on it, look, Firefox and Safari are not supported. So you're going to need to use Google Chrome, Opera or Microsoft Edge. So if I go over to Edge, I've got it here ready. Um, and it says the easiest way to install custom songs for Beat Saber on Quest. To get started, plug in your Quest with a USB-C cable and click the button below. No compatible devices. To use MBF, you must enable developer mode so that your Quest is accessible via USB. Follow the official guide. You'll need to create a new organization and enable USB debugging. So I'm going to click on uh, connect to Quest and see what happens here. So this is all brand new. Okay, so Lord of the Fish wants to connect to Quest 2. So you click on the Quest 2, connect, failed to connect devices. Error, some other app is trying to access your Quest, e.g. side quest. Ah, give me one second because I've got Quest Patcher up in here. So let me close that off. Uh, and let's try that again. Quest 2, paired, that looks different. Connect, failed. Some of the trap, oh, okay. Right, so what I might do is... Just restart the PC quickly, and then nothing's connected to the Quest, and hopefully it'll work. So I'll just restart the, the PC quickly. Okay, so I've restarted the PC. Uh, I'm going to click Connect to Quest now. Then we go Quest 2 paired, Connect. Allow connection in headset. Put on your headset and click Always Allow from this computer. You should only have to do this once. So let me just check inside my headset. Uh, and there is a notification, Allow USB debugging, blah, 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 blah. Always Allow from this computer. Click that. Checking Beat Saber installation. Let me just pop my headset down. Okay, so let's see what we've got. Downgrade and set up mods. MBF has detected that your version of Beat Saber doesn't support mods. Fortunately for you, your version can be downgraded automatically to the latest modable version 1.35. Note, by downgrading, you will lose access to any DLCs other or other content that is not present in version 1.35. If you decide to stop using mods and reinstall vanilla Beat Saber, however, then you will get this content back. Change app permissions. What's this then? Certain mods may find it useful for the app to request microphone permissions or access the headset cameras due to, the pri due to privacy implications. You need to enable permis permissions here if you want them. Microphone access, pass through to headset cameras, body tracking. I'm not fussed about these, but so I'll leave them off. Let's have a look at advanced options. Permission, uh, was the permissions, uh, non features, non simple options. Yeah, let's just ignore that for now. But yeah, if you want any of this, toggle them on. If not, it doesn't really matter. Um, so let's see, read carefully. Mods and custom songs are not supported by beat games. You may experience bugs and crashes that you wouldn't in a vanilla game. In addition, by modding the game, you will lose access to both vanilla leaderboards and vanilla multiplayer. Modded leaderboard servers are available. Okay, so we're going to click Mod the app. Uh, it says apps been patched. This should only take a few minutes, but might take up to 10 on a very slow internet connection. You must not disconnect your device during this process. Uh, and then so let's have a look what it's installing. Yeah, I think these are all like the... Um, like, I recognize the names of these, like the core mod files, I think. So we've got a progress counter here, 18, 21. If this takes too long, I'll skip ahead, save some time.
Okay, so we've got this failed to install mods error popped up. An error occurred while patching error. Uh, received error from backend failed to patch. Caused by zero. Failed to downgrade NAD patch APK. One, file sealed, blah, blah, blah. Did not match expected value. Is the file corrupt or is the game pirated? Well, the game's definitely not pirated. Um, so, yeah. What I'm going to do now is uninstall beat saber and come back here and try again um because i did uh install it and mess about a bit in quest patches so maybe quest patches kind of screwed something up here so i'm gonna stop the video now reinstall that and we'll come back and try this again but i'm leaving this stuff in so you can kind of see the errors that can happen i think it's it's good for people to see this stuff so i'll, I'll do that now and we'll jump back in Okay, so there's a, now a completely clean install of Beat Saber in there. I haven't backed out of this, so I'm going to try and just click mod my app and see if it uh, works, but I might have to redo this process, but let's have a look and see what happens. So it's going through again. Um, and I'll skip this ahead because um, it takes a while for the, the progress to count through. Okay, so that's worked. Um, so we say app is modded. Beat Saber is already modded on your quest and the version that's installed is compatible with mods. Everything should be ready to go. Not sure what to do next? Load up the game and look left. A menu should be visible that shows your mods. Uh, click the song downloader mod and browse for custom songs in game. Download additional mods below. Your mods. There's a settings cog and then add mods. Upload mods or songs. Uh, and then we've just got a list of mods here. So. I'm guessing it's already installed like the core mods. I don't know if core mods are still a thing, but I think it was installing some sort of basic functionality there. Um, so let's see what we've got here. Um, these are pretty much the same. Yeah, these, these are the same ones you could see if you were sort of trying to use Quest Patcher on 1.35. Um, let me just click this settings cog here. Kill beat server, uninstall beat server, fix player data, start login. Uh, so your mods. Ah, so this is what it installed, which is basically the core mods at this point. Um, one thing to note, it doesn't seem to be a way to downgrade anymore using this. Um, so I'm guessing at this point things have kind of moved forward and we need to maybe just forget about you know downgrading to 1.28 and you know everything's kind of moved on it's using the the scotland 2 um, mod loader now uh, so i think we're just gonna have to stick with this and wait for more mods to come out but i mean there's a few here um and you know you've still got the functionality in game to download custom songs and play so and I'm sure they're, they're working hard to bring more mods out. Um, so yeah, what have we got? Random song picker, fast to scroll, recently played, playlist downloader, crash report, or song call. I'm just trying to look for one that um, I would maybe use. Um, let's install graphics tweaks and see how the process goes. There we go, nice and easy. So it's pretty good actually that it just does it in your browser so you don't have to sort of download different apps on your computer and stuff um but yeah I'm, I'm guessing you still will need to use a computer for this although maybe you can just hook up your phone um you know usb-c to usb-c and use the browser on your phone i haven't tried that obviously because this is brand new to me um but yeah, that's about it. I can't think of anything else um i won't bother jumping in the headset because all you're gonna see is sort of the basic you know, like it says here, like the, the song downloader and stuff. Um, but that's the new method for now. Um, as I said before, there was a couple of errors. So if you're, um, if you've kind of used Quest Patcher previously, even though you're on 1.35 or you're, you know, um, you've done anything to kind of mess with the game, as you saw, um, it threw up an error there. So you want completely clean install of beat saber as far as i'm aware um before this will work properly uh, and if you have pirated the game well it's not going to work for you so go buy it <laughs> um, but yeah that's about it so thanks for watching